Hey Foot Geeks fans, today we want to review the Genin shoes from Australia. Yes, that's from the land down under. And these particular shoes are designed to make you taller. All right. Today we were asked to review the Mr. Satchel. It's actually a pretty cool sporty sneaker that uh, they shipped me, which uh, has a lift insole inside that looks something like this. So you can see that obviously there's uh, the front is a bit skinnier, the heel itself is a little bit thicker, and it does have this on both sides, which is going to make you, let's get out the measuring tape. Hmm, okay, that's gonna make you about two centimeters taller. Okay, for you guys watching in the UK or the US of A, that's about one inch, okay? So you're gonna be about an inch taller with these shoes. And uh, you know, I don't necessarily need that for myself, but there's definitely a few applications that you can use these shoes for that may be of interest to you. But let's go through the box first, because the uh, uh, shoe itself does come with a bunch of different things inside the box. So one of the things they give you is a Genin shoehorn right here. So that's actually kind of cool. Prevents you from breaking down that heel counter in the shoe when you put them on. So do use that shoehorn to make sure you keep those shoes looking nice for a long period of time. There's an extra pair of laces in the box and I'm not sure exactly what this clip is for, but maybe they can respond to us in the uh, messages. Maybe it's like a cash clip. And it's got a little magnet in there, so I don't really know what to do with this, but anyway. Let us know what that is. Uh, and this thing right here is a polishing cloth. So that's pretty awesome. You can polish your shoes with that cloth. Plus you've got a couple of travel bags right here as well. So if you do take your shoes with you on a trip, stick them in there. All right, so that's what's inside the shoe box. Now next, let's take a look at the shoes. Okay, so I believe the sole in this particular product is made out of a polyurethane. So that's kind of a combination of rubber and EVA, which uh, EVA is a material that you find in most running shoes, and it does provide a decent amount of shock absorption. I don't find it is quite as cushy without the original insole in there. So if you do take this lift out, which I took out because the reason I did that is because I wanted to see if you have a leg length discrepancy, whether or not you can take off this lift material and yes you can so you can if you have about an inch uh, leg length discrepancy on one side so you'd say one leg is shorter than the other you can take this insole out and it would allow you to then have a pair of shoes that has a higher side on either the left or the right side depending on which side you need to be a little bit higher so uh, the insoles were just kind of gently tacked in there with a little bit of glue so i was able to remove this fairly easily and then I just put the original insole, which is a leather lined footbed. Looks kind of like this. All right, it's glued itself back down when I put it back in. Anyway, looks something like this. So it's just leather with a little bit of foam on the bottom. And this particular insole I'll put back in. So now there's exactly a two centimeter or one inch difference between left and right. Now, if you do need to adjust that a little bit, you could obviously go and shave this down. Now you may have to need, you may have to have a grinder at home to be able to do this. But if you don't have that, check out the local shoemaker or shoe repair shop. They will probably be able to file that down for you. So that's a great option to have a decent looking pair of shoes with a one inch or less lift to be able to wear when you have a leg length discrepancy without having to modify the actual product. Because most of the time when we do this, in our shop, we will have to add either a sole on the bottom because inside you can only add about a centimeter inside before it starts to be you know, too shallow either in the back or it starts to get too tight in the front. So consider that when you're uh, buying these shoes as a option for leg length discrepancies. Now, if you don't wanna do this, you just wanna get the insoles to lift yourself up, Genin has a solution for you. So that solution are the easy lift insoles. And with these easy lift insoles right here, you have the opportunity to change out the insoles in your current shoes with a pair of Genin insoles that are gonna give you that inch lift when you're trying to be 
taller. Or if you obviously want to use the, one of these insoles as a uh, heel, you know, heel lift type insole for a shorter leg, you can potentially just use one of these insoles or half of the insole, the pair, half of the pair in just one shoe. So consider that if you're looking to uh, obviously adjust for a leg length discrepancy. So what's inside the shoe? Well, as I mentioned, this does have the polyurethane outsole on the bottom. And then the upper itself is made of leather in this particular model. Uh, I believe most models are dressier type shoes from what I've seen on the website. And then obviously here you have also a leather lining inside, which is nice. I mean, I like leather linings inside shoes because uh, they just kind of create a nicer environment inside the footwear. Uh, they do also have a leather lined footbed. So that's uh, you know gonna create kind of a cooler environment. And the footbed itself is actually super, super comfortable to walk on. Uh, not only does it have the foam on top, but because it has that polyurethane lift on the bottom, you do get obviously a little bit of squish from this as well. Plus then you get additional cushioning from the outsole in this particular model. Uh, and those um, you know, things together will make a difference in terms of the amount of cushioning that you'll experience in this particular product. Now let's take this thing apart and I'm gonna show you what all the layers in this footwear look like as we cut this baby in half. Let's go check it out, come on. Okay, here we go. So we've cut the shoe apart. Now you can take a look inside and see what a Genin shoe looks from the inside. Now this is obviously specific to this model right here. I don't have any of the other shoes, so I'm not sure if they would look similar, uh, but uh, the sole itself, you know, being polyurethane, as I said, does have a little bit of a checkerboard type of uh, rendition on the bottom. Now that there's hollow spaces in here, which are little air pockets. Uh, most uh, manufacturers will do this to keep the shoe as lightweight as possible so it doesn't get too, too heavy because uh, the more material obviously there is in the sole, the heavier the product gets. It does uh, sometimes make the shoe wear a little bit faster, a bit more prematurely, uh, but polyurethane is usually reasonably durable when you wear it um, uh, on a, for an extended period of time. Uh, but if you do wear into the uh, midsole component right here, eventually you won't be able to fix that. So you'd have to get a new pair of shoes. <clears throat> On top of that, there's uh, the sock liner, uh, which is uh, you know kind of covering the, the sole material itself. It's, a little, it's made out of kind of a, a harder nylon type material. Uh, there is uh, mostly a, a leather lining inside the shoe, uh, which I didn't notice in the in uh, previously because I didn't cut it apart. Uh, there is a, a little bit of a fabric lining across the, the toe cap right here, and uh, and that's obviously also providing a bit of structure and stability for the toe cap to make it not. Uh, sink down so that's going to provide a little bit of extra hold uh, but that's also there's a toe cap material inside there underneath the fabric lining that is providing some of that structure uh, for you so there's multiple layers of materials here to keep that from sinking down uh, on top of the sock liner you've got the lift material so it looks like this it's got a little few little hollow pockets there as well again to reduce the weight of the shoe you won't have to worry about that wearing through because it's inside the shoe so most likely that's not going to break down very quickly especially because it's a little bit of a denser polyurethane material so that won't bottom out as quickly as an eva material that you find in your running shoe soles and on top of that you get a foam layer with obviously the leather lining of the insole uh, that's going to finish the inside of the product right uh, now uh, one of the things you got to keep in mind is also that the sole itself is stitched to the upper, so that's really cool. Uh, that way it's not just a glued on sole, it's actually stitched to the leather upper, and that's going to help uh, keep those two things nicely together uh, without that coming apart or potentially, you know, ungluing because of the fact that, uh, you know, the glue is separating from the actual inner um, liner, right? So that's awesome to see that you have a stitched on sole, and that's going to really keep that shoe together for a long period of time. Now, if you have any questions regarding Gen shoes, please post them below. I'm sure the guys from Gen will be more than happy to respond to those. I will pass on any questions that you have to them. Uh, or if uh, there's any comments that you have, something that you love about these shoes or how they've made your life better, let us know below as well. Have an amazing day, guys. Take care.